going to be working on the specific articulation in the spine L4, L5. So I want you to make sure that you've done the warm-up first before you join us today. So if you've done the warm-up, I would invite you to sit down on your bum and then extend your legs out in front of you. So we're going to go a little bit in a diamond shape and you're going to separate your heels apart to about eight inches. And then from there, I want you to supinate your feet, which means you're going to turn the feet out so that the instep reaches and opens out wide, so like you're ready to receive. You're going to pull the toes back towards you. So we're supinating and pulling the toes back. This is called pseudo eversion. And then from there, you're going to press the knees down to the ground. From here, when you're pressing the knees down, depending on your body type, the knees will reach down either further all the way down to the ground or they might be up like this. Don't try to force anything. We're all shaped differently. So allow your body to fall where it's supposed to. So supinating the feet, pulling toes back, pressing knees down. You're gonna press the sit bones down into the ground. You're gonna tuck the tail under just a little bit so that it feels like that whole triangular spot there at the base of the spine is really flat. When we start with the elbows, if you feel like everything is really tight and you're rounded forward, I encourage you to use a yoga block underneath your sit bones. Over time, you'll want to get rid of it. You'll want to be able to do the aldoa directly on the ground. But in the meantime, if you feel like things are really tight and pulling, then do use the prop. I also encourage you to use the wall at the very beginning so that if you're not aware of how long your spine is or what a flat spine means to you, then use the wall as feedback. So back to our elbow, you're going to press the sit bones down to the ground and you're going to go ahead here and start to lengthen. So you're lifting your ribs off of your pelvis. You press down into the sit bones, you lift the ribs off the pelvis, you pull the toes back as you turn those feet out, you press the knees down, and as you do so, get a little bit longer in your spine. The chin's going to look down. You're going to press the chin back so you get long in the back of the neck. The crown of the head is going to reach up high and tall to the ceiling. You're going to reach the arms out in front of you, and you're going to externally rotate the arms and extend the wrists. Think like Spider-Man. You're shooting little spider webs out of your heel of the palm. Both arms reach out at the same time, you're pulling the bone back in, so you're creating this opposition from one end of the bone to the other. Pinky fingers should be parallel towards one another. Your gaze should always be down, so if you're using a mat, maybe right at the edge of your mat or down towards your heels. One arm is going to go up towards the sky. And then the second arm is going to go up towards the sky. Now when the arms come up, you might feel like your head popped forward. So you got to bring your head back over your spine. If you feel like your chest is popping forward, bring your chest back or the back of the ribs full. Head pulls back, arms reach up. If the arms come forward a little bit, that's okay. In time, get them in line with your ears. Keep reaching up from the heels of the palms, soften the belly muscles, press the sit bones down, reach the crown of the head up to the sky. Sit bones press down, reach crown of the head up to sky. Press the sit bones down, reach the crown of the head up to the sky, reach the heels out, and then heels of the palms up to the ceiling. Keep reaching out, feel for the separation in the connective tissue right above the triangular space at the base of the spine. Keep breathing softly, steadily. Gaze is soft. Keep reaching up, spread the fingers wide, extend at the wrists a little bit more, externally rotate the arms a little bit more, pull the toes back a little bit more, press the knees down a little bit more. Lift the ribs up, pull the crown of the head up, press the sit bones down, counting down from 10, 9, 8, keep your breath steady, 5, press sit bones, reach crown of the head up, 2, 
And when you start to release, you take the arms down, keep reaching the spine, so crown of the head reaches up, sit bones press down, release the legs, and then the last thing to release will be your spine. Then you can start to breathe normally, relax. You have just completed L4, L5. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. I've got tons of other great videos for you, so don't forget to click subscribe.